Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2018 Acura MDX, we're going to be showing you how to install the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver. Before we do that though, let's just take a minute, check this out, and make sure it's going to work for you. When it comes to the MDX, a uh, very capable SUV, people use these to do a lot of different things. So, whether you're trying to pull a trailer around, or use an accessory like a bike rack or a cargo carrier, you're going to want a hitch that is up to the task. And this one is going to be uh, able to do just that. Um, one thing I am a fan of is how it's going to look. So really you'll just be able to see the receiver tube opening. Um, the rest of the hitch is going to be kind of hidden and tucked up underneath the vehicle. And compared to the other one available, which is the e-trailer one, um, they're going to be pretty much the same and, and be able to handle uh, the same type of things. Really the main difference is going to be the finish of it. The e-trailer one has a matte black style finish which I'm a fan of. I think it looks a little better, kind of matches the plastic, but that's just my opinion. Um, if you like the gloss black a little bit better, matches your vehicle, then this will be a good option for you. This is going to be a class 3 hitch, so it has a 2 inch by 2 inch opening. Extremely common size, a lot of different things are going to work with it. It is going to use the standard 5 8 pin and clip. One isn't included with the hitch, but if you need one, not a big deal. Grab it here at e-trailer. A lot of times, if you get new accessories, it'll come with one. Just something to think about. Safety chain loops are going to be large enough to allow us to use uh, pretty much any size hook that our trailer might have on it. The hitch is going to have some really good weight capacities. Maximum gross tongue weight will be 900 pounds. That's the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. It's more than enough for any size bike rack, just kind of give you an example. As far as the Maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, that's going to be 6,000 pounds, or the amount of weight pulling on the hitch. It's the weight of your trailer plus anything you might have on it. This can be used with the weight distribution system, which is a separate component. What happens if you use it, it's going to keep your Acura and your trailer level whenever you're towing it down the road. So if you have an enclosed trailer or camper, uh, might be worth looking into. But if you use it, capacities uh, as far as the tongue weight will be the same at 900. You'll get a little bit more out of the trailer, though. That'll increase to 8,000. With that said, I always like to recommend never a bad idea to grab your Acura's owner's manual. That way you can check in there and make sure your vehicle can handle that much weight safely. Go ahead, grab a couple of measurements. Uh, and these will help us figure out what type of accessories will work best. From the ground to the top inside edge of your receiver tube, it's going to be 14 inches. So if you are pulling a trailer, chances are pretty good you can get a ball mount that has a slight rise in the shape, maybe an inch or two. In the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, that's going to be three inches, which is really good so you shouldn't have any issues, but you can use that to help figure out exactly if any of those folding type accessories can be stored upright without hitting the back of your MDX. So at the end of the day, uh, a great all-around hitch. You know, it's going to look good and open up your opportunities on the different types of things you're going to be able to do with the MBX. As far as the installation goes, this one's really not bad at all. You lower the spare tire down, the hitch bolts up, you put the spare tire back. Um, so it's so not a whole lot to it. Sometimes you will run into the bolts that are in the frame, or the nuts rather, might be a little rusty. So you have to clean those out. Um, if that happens to you, I'll show you a couple things that you can do. Uh, but with that said, let's go ahead and get started on it now. To begin your installation, you're going to be here at the back of your uh, Acura, and we're going to need to temporarily lower and remove the spare tire to give us some more room to work. It will go back up once the hitch is installed, but if you open up your hatch here, and flip this back, and the access port for the spare tire will be right underneath there. Got this rubber plug, and pull up on that. Take your spare tire tools and get it lowered. Go ahead, get this off and out of the way for now. Underneath the vehicle now, on our frame rail, we can go over our attachment points. They're going to be the same on each side. And from this point on, anything we do to one side of our vehicle, we'll also do to the other because it'll be set up the same way. So there's going to be three threaded weld nuts, one there, one there, and then one kind of tucked in close to the back of our vehicle. A lot of times these will get some dirt and rust and junk built up in it, so spray them out with some penetrating oil. Take a brush, something similar, and just clean them threads out. 
Um, and then it's not a bad idea to take your hardware and actually make sure it threads in easily. So the hardware that you're going to use for all the attachment points will be a bolt and a conical tooth washer. Make sure the teeth on the washer are going to face up towards the hitch. But we're just giving this a test pass here. So this one threads in easily. I checked the others. Uh, we're in good shape. Sometimes, um, even if you clean them out with a brush, these will be super tight and really difficult to get the bolt in just because if it's really rusty. So if that happens, one thing you can do is take a tap like this. All right, you can pick this up at your hardware store, auto parts store, whatever. And this will thread in there and really do a good job of cleaning out the threads and kind of making them like new again. So that's just a word of advice. Um, if you need one, this is going to be an M14 by 1.5. Uh, thread pitch. Now with an extra set of hands we can get our hitch raised into position. Get all the holes lined up and we want to get at least one bolt started on each side hand tight. That way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of them. Once you have all the bolts started you can come back with a 22 millimeter socket and snug everything out. And now you need to make sure and come back with a torque wrench and tighten down all of the hardware to the amount specified in our instructions. So at this point I went ahead, put our spare tire back up, opposite way that we removed it, don't have any issues getting it back up into place. But that will finish up our look at and our installation of the current trailer hitch receiver on our 2018 Acura MDX.